Yo, 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 what is up, man? It's your boy, Damn D. And I'm here to give you the live news, man. So make sure if you are new to the channel, y'all hit that subscribe button. And if you like what you see, hit that like button, man. Get them likes up. Let's run them likes up because y'all know I'm going to give y'all that A1 latest of the greatest news. Now, to bring some humor into all of this, which we all need right now because... Let's not get it twisted. Ain't nothing funny what's going on right now, but I think that uh, Dave Chappelle is the perfect person to highlight it and, you know, just to make some type of humor of it. Dave Chappelle recently was on Saturday Night Live, and he had some jokes about Kanye, and he had some jokes about um, Kyrie's whole situation. So no further ado, let me... Uh, Go like this, bow, fair use, fair use, YouTube. This is for educational purposes and comedian pur purposes only. So let's listen to Dave Chappelle talk about, uh, <laughs> make some jokes about Kanye, especially Kanye, yeah, he was, he was, he was going in on Kanye and uh, Kyrie Irving. Let's get into it. Thank you. Thank you very much for being here. Uh, but before I start tonight, I just wanted to read a brief statement that I prepared. <laughs> I denounce anti-Semitism in all its forms. <laughs> yeah, you better. <laughs> and I stand with my friends in the Jewish community. And that, Kanye, is how you buy yourself some time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, it's crazy. <laughs> Golly. I gotta tell you guys, I've probably been doing this uh, 35 years now. And early in my career, I learned that there are two words in the English language that you should never say together in sequence. And those words are the and juice. <laughs> I've never heard someone do good after they said that. Apparently. Apparently. <laughs> Apparently, boy, you cannot say those two words together because, uh, yeah, you get cancer real fast. Kanye got into some scrapes before. Normally, when he when he's in trouble, I pull up, I pull up immediately. But this time, I was like, you know what? Uh, let me see what's gonna happen first. Let's see. <laughs> so let's see where this all going. <laughs> Can't remember how it started. Vaguely, I remember it started with a tweet, strange tweet. It was like, um, I'm feeling a little sleepy. I'm gonna give me some rest, but when I wake up, I'm gonna go DEF CON 3 on the juice! Ouchie! And then he just went to bed. <laughs> I was up all night worried. What is he gonna do to the juice? Boy, boy, boy. <laughs> I grew up around Jewish people. A lot of Jewish friends, so I'm not freaked out by your culture. I know a little bit about it just from hanging around. I'm like, yo, yo, let's go out at school tomorrow. I'm like, we can't go out. It's Sha Na Na tomorrow. I'm like, what? Sha Na Na. What is Sha Na Na? <laughs> I had so many questions. Why do some of your people dress like Run DMC? Kanye <laughs> <laughs> woke up from that net and went right to work. A year ago, I'd seen him on a podcast called Drink Champs. Well, a great show. Uh -huh. uh, and, and it was it was an amazing appearance. Uh, Noriega and them were there, the rappers that I love, and they all had their gold chains and stuff on. And uh, Kanye said, only millionaires wear chains. They said, what? He said, I'm a billionaire. Billionaires don't wear their money on their body. I took my chain and I said, oh, snap. <laughs> 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 it was a good appearance. It was fun and funny. But when he woke up, he went on Drink Champs again. This time, he was on one. He was mad about something. He said, I can say anti-Semitic things. Yeah. And Adidas can't drop me. Now what? <laughs> they fired his ass. He just dropped that nigga immediately. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> ASAP. Ironically, Adidas was founded by Nazis. She and they were offended. Right. <laughs> I guess the students will pass the teacher. <laughs> Sheesh. <laughs> Big deal. He had Brooklyn show business rules. 
It's just a rule. You know, the rules of perception. If, if they're black, then it's a gang. If they're Italian, it's a mob. But if they're Jewish, it's a coincidence and you should never speak about it. Mmm. I like that right there. I like that right there. If you're black, you're in the gang. If you're Italian, you're in the mob. If you're Jewish, you don't talk about them. Or it's a coincidence. It's a coincidence and you don't say nothing about it. I like that right there. Let's 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 play that back right there. Italian is a mob, but if they're Jewish, I like that. I like that. If, if they're black, then it's a gang. If they're Italian, it's a mob, but if they're Jewish, it's a coincidence and you should never speak about it. Wow. <laughs> a lot of truth to that. A lot of truth to that. Kanye got in so much trouble, Kyrie got in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Basically. Kyrie, Kyrie Irving posted a, a, a link to a movie that he had seen on Amazon. No caption on the post or nothing like that. But apparently this movie had some, I don't know, anti-Semitic posts <laughs> or something. It was some weird title like from Hebrew to Negro or something. <laughs> Hebrew to Negro. <laughs> And the NBA told me he should apologize, and he was slow to apologize. And then the list of demands to get back in their good graces got longer and longer. And this, this is where, you know, I draw the line. I know the Jewish people have been through terrible things all over the world, but but but, but you can't blame that on black Americans. You just... Hmm, I like that. Don't blame it on us. Why are you mad about... Nah, let's not get into that, but I agree with Dave Chappelle. You just can't. You know what I mean? Thanks for the one person that said me. <laughs> a fair punishment would be to just post a link to Schindler's List and y'all write your own captions. <laughs> Skyrie Irving's black ass was nowhere near the Holocaust. In fact, he's not even certain it existed. <laughs> <laughs> I saw one I like news pundit screaming about Kanye. She said, mental health is no excuse for that type of language. Yes, it is, bitch. <laughs> exactly. You kill somebody if you're mentally ill. Listen, okay, I don't think Kanye is crazy at all. I think he's possibly not well. <laughs> <laughs> well I've been to Hollywood. No want y'all to get mad at me. I'm just telling you, I've been to Hollywood. This is just what I saw. It's a lot of juice. <laughs> a lot. Like a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Anything. You know what I mean? There's a lot of black people in Ferguson, Missouri. That ain't even run the place. Facts. <laughs> Very true. I can see if you had some kind of issue, you know what I mean? You might go out to Hollywood and your mind might start connecting some kind of lines and you could maybe adopt the delusion that the Jews run show business. It's not a crazy thing to think. But it's a crazy thing to say out loud in a kind of like this. <laughs> <laughs> now the midterms are over alright so that's about it about the whole Kanye and Jews and Kyrie joke right there um, he had a lot of truth to those jokes man so uh, <laughs> you know I think Dave Chappelle was the right person to come and speak on Kanye because I think him and Kanye are, are pretty cool <laughs> and um, it was funny he was like uh, you know when Con <clears throat> when uh, Kanye is in trouble, normally I come out and speak. Well, this time I just want to see what happens, <laughs> boy. Cause uh, apparently you can't say nothing about that community, even if it's positive. You can't say nothing about that community. But it is what it is, man. So uh, y'all leave a comment down below and y'all let me know how y'all feel about Dave Chappelle stand up on uh, Saturday Night Live last night. All right. So other than that, make sure y'all hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I got more videos to drop today. Trust me. Turn on your notifications. Turn on your notifications. I'm going to drop a lot of videos today. So y'all get ready. We out of here, y'all. Peace.